So, I'm playing Resident Evil 4 Remake. Now, I wasn't terribly excited about this game coming out in the same way I was excited for the Resident Evil 2 Remake because, well, as much as I liked Resident Evil 4 as a game, it never really felt like a true Resident Evil game to me. And, well, unfortunately that's kind of important to me when it comes to something being a Resident Evil game. So, I don't know, um, I had to restart this recording because the headset that I was wearing, the battery died. <laughs> so. September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. So it looks like we are looking at a sequel to the remake of Resident Evil 2, not the original Resident Evil 2, which I guess I should have expected that. Definitely looks like they're dragging this in the direction of being a horror game. Now, Resident Evil 2 Remake, what I think that I most liked about that was that it really did drag uh, Resident Evil back in the direction of being a horror game, as opposed to turning into the sort of action game with horror elements and themes that we had seen the series turn into as time went on. Resident Evil 4, I mean, I guess maybe Code Veronica or Resident Evil Zero were the first steps in that direction, really. How far could he have gone? But Resident Evil 4 seems like the real moment where Resident Evil left horror behind completely. Ugh. I mean, Resident Evil 4 was a great game. I really enjoyed playing it and all that. But it doesn't feel like a Resident Evil game to me, and that's kind of an important thing for me when it comes to, um, you know, Resident Evil. <laughs> so it looks like they're doing the same thing with this that they did, and this sort of feels a little bit like Resident Evil 7. But it feels sort of like they're trying to do more horror stuff with this than we saw with Resident Evil um, 4, the original version. They're really going out of their way to go more horror with this. Which, in 2, it made a lot of sense because, you know, as they made more and more of these games, they kept trying to just ramp up the threat. So it's like, oh, bigger monsters, there are more of them, there's super tyrants, and then there's giant slug monsters, and all that kind of stuff, and it was just, it really turned into the, into the ridiculous, and 4 had a big part to do with that, but, I mean, I'm not gonna really know until the game actually, anyone of, home? until the game actually goes and starts throwing me into intense situations, Judgment is nigh. The nigh! Not really going to know until it starts throwing me in intense situations how this plays. Or are they going in the direction of ridiculous action? Or is it going to be a little bit more reserved? Are there going to be fewer but more threatening enemies? Or is it just going to be like the original Resident Evil 4 where you're just sort of getting... Uh, oh, don't have a key. Just sort of getting swarmed by those Los Ganados. Oh, 
sorry to barge in like this. Busco a un policía. Vino aquí. Broke his neck. Oh, okay, there's that key. <laughs> oh, I can pull my gun. And I can aim while walking. Although it does look like you lose accuracy in doing so, which makes sense. Hello. I think in the original game, the two cops you were with, one was caught and burned at the stake, and the other one you ran across his body later. But, I mean, you got attacked before they did. All this weird shit. <laughs> Is that really necessary? Something's gonna attack me. Yep. Hey. You think he's all right? I read you. What's your situation? Someone's gonna try and stick an axe in my face. No fucking way. Whoa. Oh, okay. Uh, yep, this feels very much like the Resident Evil 2 remake. This just keeps getting worse. With the uh, the way that the enemies take a lot of hits before going down. I guess Resident Evil 4, the original 4, was like that, but the gunplay and the way that it works out feels like the 2 remake. I guess 3... That remake kind of had the same sort of gameplay... Had the same gameplay to it, but the enemies really did feel like they went down a little bit easier. Oh, shit. I'm just... Like, you wouldn't have to pop zombies in the head as much as you would have if you uh, were playing the 2 remake in 3. Oh, there's more than one. Uh, I better get the fuck out of here. I'm out of ammo. Alright. Come at you, motherfucker. Oh! Shit. Oh, why are you not dead? I get it. We have the same inventory system we saw in the original game. Can I leave now? No, I can't. <laughs> you have any ammo for me or something? Wasn't 
Wasn't I already in this room? How did they get in here? And door. <laughs> Oh, up. There's some up. <laughs> I was down, not up. Oh my god, look. Oh, okay, it didn't pop in. I'm like, look how low res that texture was. And why is Leon dancing? <laughs> that is motherfucker. <laughs> Calm down. What did you... How much coffee did you drink on the way here? You gotta pee or something? Look at him. I know he's not injured, because I just gave him a first aid spray. Yeah, what are you pointing that gun around for? You got nothing, though. These guys don't seem to be afraid of it. Bruce. This is Gondor 1. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Need a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. <laughs> Gotta go. Talk later. <laughs> I don't have any ammo. Oh, it's Benny Jones. I'll let myself out. <laughs> he's given up. Guess he really just wanted me outside. Okay. Get out of here before he decides to follow. You know, I've never been to Spain, but I can't imagine that there are too many places so secluded that this kind of shit could be going on. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> I just kick it. <laughs> yes! Does <clears throat> that fly? Oh, oh! Got any ink? No, I don't have any ink ribbons. Man, that's a fuck of a kick, bro. Just kicking barrels apart. I guess it didn't really make a lot of sense before you slashing it with a knife and they just explode. But, you know, whatever. It's a video game. It's kind of a ridiculous thing with um, a lot of the way games work and the kind of shit that you can do where you can go and do shit like slash a barrel or kick it and have it explode. And it just, by the nature of it, is ridiculous. But it gets... Oh, I can't save the dog this time. <laughs> it gets more ridiculous the more realistic the graphics look. Like in The Last of Us Part Two, is one of the most realistic looking games in terms of its art style and technological savvy and all that kind of shit. It was a cut above almost everything else out there. But it really did make those small little things that seemed unrealistic come across as really weird. It really draws your eye in the direction of things that just aren't right. This game looking a lot more realistic than the original game. Looking a lot better and everything like that. My attention is going to be drawn to picking a, a box like that. And suddenly, uh, shit just explodes. <laughs> Where is, are you just hanging out in the bushes? Oh. Yeah, there we go. Press X to melee. Hello. What makes you think you're in a better position to do anything about me, bro? Whoa. Moved weird. The idea of looting corpses in Resident Evil feels wrong to me, too. 
This isn't a freaking Final Fantasy game. I'm not going to be looting money off of zombie people. <clears throat> oh, shit. <laughs> that had to hurt. It. Fuck, I hope you're wearing high top boots. <clears throat> what the fuck, man? Melee the motherfucker. Oh, he's dead. That surprised me a few times. I guess this does feel like a good modern Resident Evil in the vein of the 2 remake. I was considering not buying this, but it just fell. Oh, it's a head. It's only a head. We're okay. <laughs> I was considering not buying this, seeing reviews and all that kind of stuff, but you know. Up, oh, it's the village, and there's the dude being burned at the stake. I was considering not buying this, but you know, I, I think I will. Yeah, dude, you're just. Yeah, you, th you think he's okay? Oh, oh, well, shh, probably not now. Watching people get burned at the stake is really freaking depressing. What was it Witcher 3 had a somebody being burned at the stake? Probably happens a few time in that, times in that game. That's like really fucked up. Plus, considering I don't think he would have died quite as quick as we saw him have to kind of die there. There's too many of these guys. You know, something I didn't like about the original Resident Evil 4 was the ridiculous number of enemies that the game threw at you. I felt like um, it was just a gauntlet. You just kept having to get thrown through a gauntlet. And it would... Is this just leading me back to where I was? Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> and you know what? It just... It would always feel like a chore every time I got discovered and had to kill a whole bunch of people. And then replaying the game, or this part of the game anyway. I just got to this and I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to... I don't want to fight these guys again. Can I melee? Or can I stealth kill? Let's find out. That's a yes. <laughs> Resources. S. Or is that a five? I don't know. <laughs> Who's talking? I wish I were still wearing my headphones. The battery died, so I had to restart this game. I didn't get nearly this far. I was still in that first cabin when I had to restart. Because my headphones died. So the audio quality might be a little screwy here. Apologize. Ah, you fucker. Here we go. Aha! Okay, so here we go. Why did that guy have ammunition on? Alright. Come and get me. Like, I don't know what the fuck. Whoa! Granny, calm down. Damn it. Oh, 
now there's more of them than I thought. See, this is what I thought was irritating before. There's just more and more, and they always seem to just keep coming. And that's just annoying. Just get Fill me for the repairs later. What's happening? Ah, it's a I don't have enough ammo to take you out, bro. Jeez, why are your, why are your eyes so... Oh, the... Sorry, cow. Sorry, cow. Look how many of these motherfuckers there are. Seriously. Jump up and kick him in the face. Or, or not, whatever. <laughs> Where's the chainsaw guy? Is he like right behind me? Alright, we're gonna do this right here. Oh, there's more than one of you. you got Kick in the face. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Attack me with a shovel. You know, I'm starting to think I'm not actually supposed to kill all of these guys. I think maybe, maybe I just gotta kill the chainsaw. Or wait for the bell. That's what it was. You wait for the bell and they all just leave. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Let me play the fucking game. Dude, your weapons Lock fell to the ground and just disappeared. I'll give you the failure. I wouldn't let them surround me like that. Where's everyone going? Bingo. Church. Motherfucker. Where do you think they went? Barricade the door and set it on fire. Alright, so I guess that's the end of the demo. You know what? I'm uh I'm interested. Might uh I might uh you know pick this up. It's not far off. It's the 13th right now. We'll see.